video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. Good morning, guys. Happy, what day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to my channel today. We're doing another what I eat in a day video. This one itself is not gonna be different, but <laughs> the next few after this are definitely <laughs> gonna be a bit different. As you can see by the title, in a few weeks I am having double jaw surgery. And after that surgery, I am obviously not gonna be able to eat solid food for at least a few weeks. So that will be interesting. Anyways, I thought I would do one final what I eat in a day video before my surgery. And then after that, I'm gonna be posting a lot of updates on my surgery on my vlog channel. And I might do like one or two on this channel as well. <laughs> Just show you what I'm eating to recover, how I'm gonna be prioritizing protein and bone broth and everything I'm gonna be eating, or I guess drinking and kind of, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess eating. Everything I'm gonna be eating to heal as quickly as possible. But yeah, today is just gonna be a more or less normal what I eat in a day video for myself. If you guys are new to my channel, I eat a low carb ketogenic diet. It is mainly animal based. So I prioritize good quality protein, eggs, meat, fish, all that good stuff. And then I add a little bit of low sugar fruits, low carb vegetables, just for taste more or less. In the past, I've eaten a strict carnivore diet, and I think that carnivore is beneficial for so many people. But for myself personally, I don't have any autoimmune conditions or gut issues, anything like that. So I do not need to eat that strict. So while I do advocate for the carnivore diet, and I do have a carnivore diet coaching program, which you guys can sign up for if you're interested, I don't personally eat a carnivore diet right now. And I just wanted to throw that out there because I've been getting a few comments on some videos being like, why do you promote carnivore? You don't even eat carnivore. So there's my explanation. <laughs> Anyways, I am just about to head out the door, go to a Pilates class. I haven't had anything to eat or really drink actually <laughs> yet. I need to have some electrolytes. I'm gonna take some iodine, which I supplement every day, and magnesium. I'll show you guys that. Then I'm gonna head out and I will check in again with you when I'm back. You guys want to come in now? You want to go outside? Come on, Maisie. Come on. No, don't make me chase you. I just got home, I had a few errands to do after I went to Pilates, and I'm about to make my coffee, but first off, I want to quickly thank today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. Guys, I have been a huge fan of Ana Luisa since I first came across them a few years ago. I've bought several pieces from them, which I'm sure you've seen me wearing before. When it comes to jewelry, and when it comes to my staple pieces especially, I want them to be high quality but unfortunately, that usually comes with a high price tag to match. Ana Luisa products are high quality and sustainable, but they don't have a high markup on the price. They were kind enough to send me a few pieces for this collaboration, but I could already attest to the quality from a few Ana Luisa pieces that I already own. Ana Luisa uses high quality materials, including recycled gold, silver, freshwater pearls, and lab-grown diamonds all of which are ethically sourced and hypoallergenic. Another thing I love about Ana Luisa is that a lot of their pieces are timeless, so you don't have to worry about them going out of style next season. As some of you might have noticed, I definitely have my everyday pieces, and these earrings specifically are something that you're gonna see me wearing a lot more of going forward. The new pieces I've received all look so amazing with one another, and I definitely recommend buying them together. If you would like to check out Ana Luisa and treat yourself or get ahead on your Christmas shopping, they are currently running the biggest sale of the year until November 29th. Buy one piece and you get 60% off another, 
which you can shop through the link in the description box down below. Hurry so you don't miss out. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. My game plan now is to sit on the couch, drink my coffee. I have a bunch of emails to answer and just other things to do <laughs> on my computer quickly. And then I'll get into some actual work that I have to do today. <laughs> and we just take a moment to appreciate how nice the weather is today. It's finally warming up and we're very excited about it. Right, Maisie? <laughs> Almost summer. It's so close. I have never seen either of my cats go in this section of their cat tree. Oh, Zeus. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Maisie likes sitting on the top. That's her favorite spot, but oh. I swear <laughs> my bun looked good this morning and now it's kind of all over the place. I kind of regret cutting my hair short a few months ago. Oh, that looks a bit better. Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was bulletproof coffee and intermittent fasting. So if you are just getting into the low carb space, maybe you aren't familiar with, I guess, intermittent fasting and bulletproof fasting, Intermittent fasting is when you eat all of your food for the day within a smaller time frame. So there are different variations of it. 18-6 is a popular one. So that means you fast, aka you don't eat for 16 hours a day, and then you eat all of your calories for the day within an eight hour window. And then there's like 18-6, so you're fasting for 18 hours, only eating for six hours, 24. So all these different splits. And if you aren't familiar with the benefits of intermittent fasting, obviously it is good for weight loss, good for weight management, boosts ketones, it can improve mental clarity, helps you manage your blood sugar better. There's a whole bunch of benefits. I have other videos on intermittent fasting. I will link one up above if you're just getting started and want to know a little bit more. But bulletproof fasting is a variation of intermittent fasting where Within your fasting window, you have a bulletproof coffee, which is what you just saw me make. So basically with bulletproof fasting, you have this fatty coffee in the morning. So it's filled with either butter or coconut oil, sometimes MCT oil. You can throw in an egg yolk. <laughs> That's a really good option to make it frothy. Collagen powder as well. There's a few other bits and bobs you can put in there, but Basically, it's a coffee drink that's filled with healthy fats. And like I said, it's a variation of intermittent fasting. So you drink the coffee in the morning, so you're technically having calories, but these are calories that aren't going to raise your insulin. They're not gonna raise your blood sugar. They're gonna allow you to keep burning fat. The MCT oil, the butter, the coconut oil, those are all things that will also increase your ketone production. So you have the coffee in the morning and then you don't have your first meal until maybe middle of the day. And then you have your second meal later in the day. Generally it's 16, eight, you're still eating your two meals within an eight hour window, but you have this coffee within your fasting window. I think for people who are just starting intermittent fasting, this is a great option because for people who are used to eating first thing in the morning and then eating all day long, right up until they go to bed, the thought of not having your first meal until the middle of the day can be pretty daunting. And honestly, it's a struggle with mindset more than anything I find. But also if you're used to eating all day long, you're probably a sugar burner, you're not used to burning fat for energy and your body has to become fat adapted. So this can help. But if you're not getting started with keto, maybe you've been doing it for a while, you've been doing intermittent fasting, I still 
really enjoy a bulletproof coffee. I find it's a good way to give myself a boost in the morning. And again, just that whole mindset thing. I work from home. So I'm at home a lot. I'm sitting here, my kitchen's right there. It is so tempting to just like go and get something to eat every time I want to procrastinate. So having a bulletproof coffee in the morning helps to just kind of, I guess, break up <laughs> my fasting window. I don't know, it's definitely beneficial. I find, I don't know, I still enjoy it even though I am well past the beginning of my low carb keto journey. Some people are super against bulletproof coffee. They're like, if you're trying to lose weight, why are you drinking all these calories? And I mean, if you just put butter and a little bit of MCT oil in your coffee, it's gonna be maybe 100, 200 calories. But if you start adding in a whole bunch of other things, it might be a bit more than that, which, okay, fair enough. But I think what you need to remember and what you need to look at is if it's working for you and what your goals are. Because it's easy for someone to say, oh, it's not good for weight loss, you're just drinking calories. But if it's helping you to extend your fasting window, then ultimately that's gonna help you lose more weight if that's your goal. And so it's just all about figuring out what works for you, trial and error, seeing if drinking bulletproof coffee and doing bulletproof fasting helps you to progress towards your goals. For some people it might, for other people, not so much. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick little chit chat about intermittent fasting and bulletproof coffee and I think <laughs> it went on a little bit longer than I was planning. But anyways, I'm almost done with everything I need to do in terms of just admin related things. Then I'm probably going to go for a walk because today, like I showed you guys before, is looking absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be sunny. I think it's getting up to like 28 degrees. Ah, uh, I mean, I'm from Canada, so you would think I would be used to cold winters and not complain much about the winter in Adelaide, but I mean, it was long and it was pretty cold. So definitely happy that it's finally over. We're finally getting some sun and some good weather. I cannot deal with how cuddly this cat is. <laughs> oh. She loves snuggling under the blanket. I was just sitting there and she came up right in between my legs and got comfy. But it was just as I was getting up, so now she's left alone. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're pretty cute too, Mr. Zeus. So it's just past 12 now and I'm having my first meal for the day. Sometimes I'll eat a little bit earlier around 11 or so today. I don't know, I've just been doing things nonstop and this was the first chance I got to sit down and make something to eat. I guess not sit down and make something to eat. <laughs> make something to eat and then sit down. I made a cauliflower fried rice dish with some wild caught salmon, which is from Butcher Crowd. Wild caught salmon, really hard to find in Australia. Everything that is labeled Australian salmon is in fact farmed salmon. 
This is wild caught, I believe, sockeye salmon. I think it's either from Canada or from Alaska. Delicious. If you look at the color of this and compare it to farm salmon, I mean, it's more of like a deepish red and it tastes delicious as well. Yeah, just cauliflower rice, cracked an egg in it, wild caught salmon, added some avo. I have some mayo from Undivided Food Co, which is vegetable oil free. And then I put some coconut aminos on top which is kind of like a replacement for soy sauce. So I can't remember what the last thing I filmed for this vlog was. I've been filming some other recipes and whatnot for another video I have coming. That one, I'm not sure if it'll be up before or after this, but that's gonna be an insulin resistance dinner ideas. I was gonna say meal plan. It's kind of a meal plan video, but more just focused on dinners. So I've been cooking and filming those sort of things, doing some more work on my laptop, went for a walk, sat outside. <laughs> that has been the extent of my day. I'm going to get dinner ready now and I'm going to be making San Choi Bao. So I have some ground pork, again, from my butcher crowd order. So this is 100% pasteurized pork. I have some onions, ginger, carrot, mushrooms, all this is gonna be chopped up and into the San Choi Bao mixture. I'm also gonna put some peas and a little bit of corn kernels in there as well. And <laughs> here's something really sad. I thought I was being so smart because you're supposed to serve the San Choi Bao in like lettuce cups. I thought I was being smart yesterday by taking the best leaves off the head of lettuce and then chopping up the rest. And I put them in my fridge and now they have all just, oh, they don't actually look as bad on camera, but they've all kind of just, they're not as crispy anymore. They don't look as nice as they did yesterday. So I might just serve it with some shredded lettuce, just more in a bowl instead of in the lettuce cup since these are looking a little sad. Devastating. <laughs> and then the sauces I'm using, I'm gonna use the coconut aminos again. You could use a soy sauce if you're not sensitive to soy, preferably a gluten-free one, and then some sesame oil as well. And this just makes it taste so delicious when you put it on at the end. guys I feel like I've set myself up for a bad night's sleep I've just been sitting on my couch working on my laptop for the last uh, I don't know a couple of hours and the sunset and I didn't feel like moving so I've just been staring into my computer screen without my blue light blockers on <laughs> I just put these on and uh, I swear by these I try to most nights, put them on as soon as the sun sets, and it makes such a difference for my sleep, just blocking all the blue light, because blue light is a trigger for, well, melatonin, or I guess it's the opposite of that, when 
we're exposed to blue light, then melatonin is suppressed and melatonin obviously helps us to fall asleep. So during the day, there's blue light from the sun and that tells your body not to make melatonin. So then you stay awake. But when the sun sets, no blue light in an ideal scenario. <laughs> and then melatonin is released. And then a couple hours later, you're ready for bed. But obviously our devices, our phones, our laptops, they just emit so much blue light Then we're staring into it. Melatonin gets suppressed and then we can't fall asleep. And that might be me tonight. <sighs> but I am also feeling really exhausted. So maybe I'll get lucky. Anyways, I also wanted to show you. So these are my blue light blockers from Blue Blocks, which I talk about all the time. And they just also sent me a new sleep mask. I believe this is the Remedy Air. And they have a couple different sleep masks on their website. I think I have this one. I can't remember what this one's called. But this one, the two eye patches are adjustable. It's all Velcro and you can move them around. And this one I think is more of like a cotton material and then the strap on the back is Velcro. Now, that sleep mask, it's pretty good, don't get me wrong, because... Um, it obviously has like these little cups, so no light sort of goes in or under like a regular sleep mask. But what I don't like about it is the Velcro at the back. I find that comes undone when I'm sleeping and I have to do it back up <laughs> a couple of times. So this new sleep mask doesn't have Velcro at the back. It just has an adjustable strap and the material is a little bit different. It's softer around the eyes and I have really been liking this. I think I've been wearing it for maybe a week and a half now and it is definitely my new favorite. I've tried a lot of sleep masks and this one is my favorite by far. So if you guys wanna check out Blue Blocks, I do have a code for 15% off. That is HCK15, that's 15% off everything on their website. So all of their glasses, sleep masks, they have red light therapy devices, and some other good stuff. But anyways, I don't think I have much else to say to you guys. I am probably just gonna do some reading and then go to sleep and that will be my night. <laughs> thank you so much for spending the day with me and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Remember to click the link in the description box down below if you wanna check them out and if you want to use my promo code. If you guys did enjoy this What I Eat In A Day video, you might enjoy other ones that I've done. Here's one where I went on a hike, which was really, really nice. So a lot of you guys enjoyed that one. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my keto diet and carnivore diet coaching programs, they'll be just below. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.